Listen, for it is the voice. Years ago, newspaper reporter Miles Archman learned the ancient art of throwing one's voice. Today, he uses this talent to make criminals believe he's an invisible specter, known only as the voice. As our story continues, a Russian spy named Antonov has been replacing cigarettes with the dreaded weed all throughout the city. Meanwhile, Sarah waits at the Daily Orbit for news of Miles. Miles, I was so worried. Rocco forced me to smoke the evil weed. I spent the last 12 hours laughing like a madman and playing the piano too fast. My fingers are so swollen, I don't know if I'll ever be able to perform a concerto again. What a nightmare. Nightmare doesn't begin to describe it. It was like... I was a different person. I... I... It wasn't you, Miles. It was that drug. That horrible, evil drug. So what happened while I was away? Look out the window. Nearly half the city's been infected. They're all out in the streets laughing madly and banging on pianos. Yes. Funny I didn't notice that on the way over. We have to do something. Before I was incapacitated, I overheard Rocco talking to the man I believe is behind all this. Rocco mentioned a meeting place and a time. We have to let the police know. The police are probably out there playing the piano. No, the voice has to confront Rocco and this criminal mastermind. Alone. Rocco, see who it is. Well, what do you know? Miles Archman's just come waltzing up to our door. Yeah, pretty stupid coming here alone. What makes you think I'm alone? I've brought a friend with me. The vo- <clears throat> The vo- <clears throat> Oh no. Laughing for 12 hours straight is rendered me unable to project my voice. I'm defenseless. So, did you just come in here to clear your throat? Um, yes. Thanks for the use of the room. Goodbye. Get in here. Well, Mr. Archman, once again I have defeated you. When will you ever learn? We've never met before. Rocco! Pretend you got a history. I admit, you almost had me in Madrid, and again in Paris. But always I have been one step ahead of you, yes? Okay. Anyway, enough talk. Kill him, Rocco. That's gonna cost you extra. Oh, for the love of Bravda. You have the gun pointed at him. All you have to do is squeeze the trigger. How much will this cost me? Let's see, when you're working labor, overhead, and parts, about a grand. Fine, put it on my tab. As long as we're owing money, I suppose I could offer 2,000 not to shoot me. 3,000 to shoot him. 4,000 not to shoot me. 5,000 to shoot the infidel. 10,000 to shoot Sal. Hey! 15,000 to shoot Archman and Sal. 20,000 to shoot the commie. 25,000 to shoot me and Sal. 725,000 to shoot Archman and Sal with the same bullet. 730,000 to shoot Sal and a stray pigeon. 750,000 to arm the pigeon and have it shoot Archman. Nine billion kajillion dollars to shoot the pigeon, have the pigeon grab the gun before it dies, have it shoot me in the Russian, then have it fall in Sal's mouth, choking him to death. Any other takers? Again, I protest that the kajillion is not an accurate measure of currency. I don't know, it sounds like a lot to me. Okay, Archman, you got a deal. <coughs> yeah, what do you know, I was out of bullets. <coughs> Archman, I'll give you a billion kajillion dollars not to hit me like you hit Rocco and Sal. You tried that trick on me in Madrid. <coughs> Back at Miles' apartment. So the police arrested the whole lot? Yes. Those are three felons we won't have to worry about for at least a couple of months. But the threat is still out there. Until people realize the dangers of addictive drugs like marijuana, the threat will always be out there. Cigarette miles? Perhaps after I finish the scotch. Two Minute Danger Theater is written and produced by MJ Butler. Starring Curtis Eames, Ryan Thomas Johnson, Tori McPetrie, and me, I spend Thanksgiving with strangers. Mother.